Okay, so we've covered this in the in the last video, so we'll just move on to the next. Okay, and we're looking at uh, solving equations. Uh, are solving equations associated with a cubic uh, plot after we've plot the graph? Okay, so we'll we'll come across uh, queries like, use having plotted a cubic, use your graph to solve the equation, something like this. Okay, so. Well, how we how we work with this is if we were given an an initial graph that we plotted this equation here, and we would want to solve, we'll call that equation two. We write our first initial equation over our second equation, okay? But we have to make sure that our second equation is equal to zero. So to do that, we have to bring the minus three over here plus five. Uh, plus 3 becomes plus 8. So we're, we have to make it equal to 0. That's really what we're doing here. And so we have eventually our first equation over our second equation, which is now equal to 0. And we change the sign and add these guys. And to do that, uh, you know, we would have minus x cubed, x cubed goes, plus 3x squared root goes, minus 2x plus 8 goes, uh, plus 5 minus 8 becomes minus 3. Now we draw the line y equals minus 3 and we find the points of intersection, which is what we've done up here. Okay. If we're asked, uh, use your graph to solve uh, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 2x minus 4. They've given us the bit to, so to plot here. We didn't have to do any of this carry on here. So we simply plot y equals 2x minus 4 on our graph and find wherever that is the points of intersection. If we're asked use your graph to solve this equation here, we take our first equation, we take this one as our second, we write it underneath and we take one from the other by changing the sign and adding. Uh, we get minus 2x plus 4x is 2x, 5 minus 3 is 2 and we plot y equals 2x plus 2 and find the intersection. And we're coming towards the end now, but we can, we met with exponential functions. These are functions in the form of a to the power of x, where the variable is a power. Okay, So fx equals 3 to the power of x, f of x equals 3 times 2 to the x, f of x equals 2.3 to the minus x. All examples of exponential functions. Just to note that 0, 1 is always a point uh, on an exponential function, because any number to the power of 0 is 1. That any number here to the power of zero is one, uh, and uh, just to note that it rises steeply exponential functions, and whilst they hug the x-axis, they never actually touch it. Okay, so an example here: draw of a function of f x equals ten times a half to the x in the domain uh, x between zero and four. Uh, plot your uh, get your points from your calculator and find f of zero. Uh, f of 0 0.5 uh, then we simply go out to f of 0 0.5 find there's one solution and f of x equals 3 we go to y equals 3 and we find our other solution and finally we look at a real life uh, example so the diagram shows the path of a rocket which is fired into the air the height h meters of the rocket after t seconds is given by this quadratic height equals 30 t minus t squared. So for how many seconds is the rocket in flight and what is the maximum height reached by the rocket? Okay, so uh, this is the the value of t here, uh, of, of the final t, okay, and it occurs when h is zero, okay, and we know where a parabola cuts the line that's at y uh, equals 0, or f of x equals 0. Okay, In this case, it's h instead of y. So h, uh, here's our, our equation. h equals 30 t minus t squared. Uh, so at 0 is equal to 30 t minus t squared. If we just try and if we, uh, factorize this 30 t minus t squared, that's the same as t all times, times 30 minus t, because t by 30 is 30 t and t by minus uh, t is minus t squared. So if we let t equal 0 here, 
and also then this, this factor here, 30 minus t equals 0, t is equal to 30. Okay? And if t is equal to 30 halfway uh, at, the, you know, the, at, the, at the max turning point, uh, through the axis of symmetry, which must be 15, uh, the max height occurs at half of t, which is 15. Okay? Uh, so what is that height? Well, uh, t is 15. We put that into our equation 30 by, uh, 50, 30 by 15 uh, minus 15 squared and it's equal to 225 metres. We'll look at uh, real life applications uh, in a further video at another time.